Hey everybody, it's Michael here from GoodyReader.com. We're at the American Library Association annual conference in Chicago, and we're here with our good friend David Burley of Overdrive, and he's going to show us the new library terminal this company has developed, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. All right, the Overdrive Media Station, as you all remember, or Michael, as I know you remember from Book Expo America just last month, we debuted and demonstrated the Overdrive Media Station for retail. Well, here's the Overdrive Media Station for library. So this is a pilot version of our Overdrive Media Station, which we're doing for San Antonio Public Library. You can put it in high traffic areas in the library to get a lot of attention and discovery from the people in the library who may not know that you have an ebook collection. This displays your ebooks, your audiobooks, your music and your video that's in your downloadable collection. It's just a different version of your of your regular website that shows your overall digital collection and it's browsable. We can pick any book. You can categorize up here to match the collection that you have. That's all customizable. We can get a, bit, a little bit of information here about this particular book, Game of Thrones. We can open it up and just like you would take a book off the shelf and at least start leafing through the book, we can do that same thing here. I'm not sure if I did that enough here. Um, as a sample, what we call it sample, which is about a 10% um, version of the book. Let's see if this wants to go with us. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes the internet is a little spotty here, yeah. as you might guess. So, um, one of the nice things with this version of Overdrive Media Station is that it does use the Overdrive Read um, browser-based reader. And so that's the HTML5 platform that's compatible with almost every web browser out there. That's right. That's right. So we're, this is uh, getting spotty and this is, uh, we just had this page open a minute ago. Um, here we go. So when you tap and tap in the middle, for example, we're getting some customization for the library, a little branding as you can see up here as well. It also allows you to bring in things like a Twitter feed um, and we'll uh, hopefully edit this out because it's spinning for us, but it'll show you some of the branding options that the library can take for each book. We can build this in at a custom level for the library. There we are. So you got that going on, and then we can jump around in the book using the HTML5 Overdrive Read, browser-based reader. We can jump ahead, and let's just jump to the end here, and I can show you the, the second customized uh, area, or customizable area that we can have, for example, San Antonio is, is talking about the upcoming events. So you can customize the message within your reader space, and this is um, right here in your library, in your cafe, in any high traffic area uh, for the library. And we're looking at uh, a Dell workstation, I believe it's 27 inches, but they don't actually need to buy the hardware through you. Libraries can establish their own touchscreen terminals. Is that right? That's right. That's right. So this is something that we have configured for the Dell. 27 inches. The larger, the better. Um, but they can use uh, their prefer, uh, preferred uh, monitor if they want. Now, back to the, the details page for this particular title. And we can show that, yes, this book is not only an e-book, but it's also available as an audio book. And so we will play the audiobook sample. There we go. Books on Tape presents A Game of Thrones, Book One of A Son of Ice and Fire so we can by get George R.R. R. Martin. We can get a two minute sampling or an excerpt from the audiobook and play that right here in the library. So when it comes to uh, the content acquisition for libraries, um, if I was a library interested in, in, in this interface, uh, subscribing to ebooks and audiobooks, uh, where would I go? Uh, who would I contact? How would I, I buy into this? Yeah, do you just contact your account specialist or your regular salesperson through the collection team or through the systems team for sales, and we can start to set you up. We are taking, um, starting to develop a list of people, libraries who are interested in becoming becoming a pilot. So we are taking, that's an active list that we're developing. Uh, the San Antonio Public Library Overdrive Media Station should be available in the next 
really a month or so, or if not sooner. But we are adding to that pile of lists so we can um, put this together for other libraries. One thing that I've noticed here is we have the quintessential ebooks, audiobooks, and music, something that you guys do a lot of. But I'm noticing here videos, and I'm not too familiar with what Overdrive is doing with the videos. Can you illuminate us on this situation? I can. And before, I, before we do that, I wanted to show you one more thing that we can do within the discovery layer here of the catalog is we can send a link to ourselves via text or via an email um, and with the on-screen um, keypad here we can send a text and it'll send a, a the sample right to your phone and you can take it with you from the library so we'll, we won't go through that here um, but I think you got a, a, a uh, an example of that back in New York but that's a great little feature um, but we'll talk more about video here so streaming video, this is a new format for us. We're gonna be rolling it out this fall. Uh, we've signed a couple of um, uh, new suppliers recently that, have, that are um, interested in going with streaming as a format. We do have- Classic movie right here. There you go, there you go. You'll see a lot of familiar faces here from Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible, Indiana Jones. Um, Iron Man, Star Trek. Uh, we can pull up uh, one of our favorite clips from Ferris Bueller. Um, so we can get the same sort of experience. You can send a text or an email if you want to get a, the quick sample, but also you want to um, open up the movie and we can jump right to the scenes. And there's all your scenes divided into chapters and we can jump to a particular scene. Here. Where we can start to pick the scenes that we'll probably get out of there. But if you remember some of the scenes, you can just jump right here into some of these situations. A very innovative feature. I haven't really seen this. I've seen this before, but that scrolling within the scenes. Very, 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 very innovative, very interesting. We're so, very proud of it. We're excited to start offering it to libraries um, later this year. Excellent. So, the, you mentioned that this whole system is in is in beta. It's more or less like a pilot project now. When do you foresee, uh, you know, uh, an availability? When can libraries start to really experience this in their home branches? Well, it's in pilot in Cuyahoga County in Ohio, in Warrensville Heights. It's also in pilot in Baltimore in the Enoch Pratt Library. Um, this new next generation version of the Overdrive Media Station oh, yeah. is going to be available, as I said, in San Antonio oh, yeah. very soon. We're taking pilots for, for this fall as well, but it'll be available on a larger scale you know, soon thereafter. I don't have an exact date, but definitely you'll see more around the country. Uh, and really around the world in the next couple of months. All right, well, we've gotten the first look here at uh, a very exciting new platforms that will be available uh, to libraries all over the world very shortly. So I'd like to thank David here for taking the time to uh, demonstrate some of the functionality for eBooks, audiobooks, video, and, and a whole lot more. So for goodyreader.com, American Library Association Annual Conference 2013, everybody take care.